สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we got plans for a new special visa in order to allow foreign tourists back into Thailand. The cabinet yesterday officially approved a new special tourist visa for long-stay visitors. The visa grants tourists a 90-day stay and could be extended twice for 90 days each time. 2,000 baht for each extension, all on condition that these tourists complete the proper COVID-19 measures, including a 14-day quarantine upon arrival into Thailand. And provide evidence of accommodations in addition to COVID-19 free certification and proper health insurance. Plans at the moment are to allow tourists to enter Thailand beginning next month, with the aim to generate income from visitors who come from countries that have been seem to control the spread of the novel coronavirus. After the new special visas or STVs were approved yesterday, Premier Prayut Chan-o-cha said. It was aimed at long-staying tourists, especially those who come to use Thailand's healthcare facilities, and it's expected to begin next month and last until November 2021. With the government saying it could generate 12 billion baht during this time, the plan at the moment is to begin accepting these tourists starting October 1st in Phuket, Bangkok, c h o m b u r i and Buriram, limited to 300 international tourists in each location per week at the start. As for the visa amnesty, we have a quick roundup on all of that later in this video. So stick around for that, or as always, visit the PhuketNews.com. Over 2,000 police officers will be drafted into Bangkok this weekend, with security efforts at the student-led anti-government protests planned for Saturday and Sunday, as rumors swirl that 20,000 people will attend. Some estimates have put the number of potential protesters at about 20,000, many of whom are coming from surrounding provinces. Into Bangkok to demand the dissolution of Parliament, the resignation of the Prime Minister, and the drafting of a new constitution. Saturday's rally is planned to take place at Thammasat University t a p r a c h a n campus, although the university says no way, and it may move to s a n a m Luang in Bangkok's old quarters. The plan is for them to stay overnight, then march down to the government house on Sunday, where they will file a petition to oust the government. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A 36-year-old French national is now behind bars in Phuket for the alleged rape of a British woman in a hotel room in Patong last week. The alleged incident took place last Monday with the victim, a 29-year-old British woman, filing a complaint on Friday, and the suspect was picked up by police in his car in c h e l o n g and taken to Patong Police Station for processing, charged with rape. And although admitted to having sex with the woman, he denied the rape accusations. Thailand's FBI, the DSI, the Department of Special Investigation, they're in Phuket right now investigating an attempt to claim about 100 rye of land be belonging to the Talang Technical College near the Phuket International Airport. The school uses only 40 rye of the land it owns, leaving 100 rye for future expansion. But recently, someone sectioned off the remaining 100 rye by installing cement posts as a boundary in an attempt to claim it. The land is fertile forest land, but the DSI. Is now investigating. As has become tradition for officials and staff at Phuket International Airport, there will be no official memorial service in Phuket today to remember the 90 people who died in the crash of 12 Go flight on this day 13 years ago. Phuket's deadliest air disaster since the opening of the Phuket International Airport happened on September 16, 2007. When a 12 Go aircraft crashed during an attempted Go round after an aborted landing, a total of 89 of the 130 people on board died at the scene, while one survivor succumbed to burn injuries later in the hospital. And those on board were nationals of Thailand, the UK, Australia, Canada, and other countries. Following damning reports over safety regulations, the budget airline 12 Go was subsequently shut down by its parent company Orient Thai, which still operates flights to Phuket. To this day, photos of a campsite trashed by tourists at a k a o y a i National Park have gone viral, and it's prompted a scathing criticism by the Natural Resources and Environment Minister b a r u w a t Sipa Acha, who suggested park officials mail back the rubbish to those people. Photos by a Facebook user reached the Environment Minister, showing some of the rubbish left behind in two tents being cleaned by officers, and some of the rubbish being sent back in a parcel. Blurring out the names of the recipients, park officers have lodged a complaint with police regarding the tourists, 
alleging littering. And first time offenders can be jailed for up to five years and or fine of up to 500,000 baht. The environment minister said, quote, please don't forget to put your rubbish in the bins provided before leaving in order to avoid endangering the wild animals. In this case, I would post every bit of that rubbish back to those tourists as a souvenir. What do you think? We know the suggestion is a bit tongue in cheek, but let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Here's a quick roundup of where we are concerning the Thailand visas in the time of COVID. Firstly, the blanket visa amnesty for all visa types will end on September 26, and there's no official word that it will be extended. We've been here before, with the deadline just days away and officials denying any extension will take place, only for them to turn around and grant an extension of the amnesty for all visa types. This time, however, they did say that the September 26th deadline was set. This is Thailand, and of course, as always, things are subject to change. In order to stay beyond September 26, foreigners staying on any form of tourist visa will be allowed to repeatedly renew their permits to stay for 30 days at a time after the amnesty ends on September 26, but only if you're in one of two groups. The first group are tourists unable to return home due to illness, in which case you need to apply at an immigration office and present a medical certificate to prove that you cannot fly. The second group that could repeatedly renew their permits are tourists who cannot go back home because of lack of flights or the circumstances in their home country, and these people must present a letter from their home country's embassy or consulate in Thailand requesting that the foreigner be allowed to temporarily stay in Thailand. It's unclear if you have to have a letter for each 30-day extension, but you do have to reapply every 30 days. Now on to long-term stays many of whom have non-immigration B or similar visas, which has an income requirement to be approved for a one-year extension. The COVID-19 pandemic has left many of these people unable to satisfy this income requirement. But back on September 1st, the Deputy Chief of Phuket Immigration, Lieutenant Colonel Udon Tong Chin, urged any foreigners at the time caught out by this requirement to delay filing their applications to renew their one-year permits to stay until September 15th, saying he expected Immigration Bureau in Bangkok to make an announcement by now. So far, as of this broadcast, no word on that yet. Stay up to date with the latest at thepuketnews.com. And that's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'd like to thank you as we come from our temporary studios here today. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.